Throughout the ages, compassionate, enlightened masters have urged people to surrender to the greater universal power by seeking the divine within, from which all other goodness and happiness follow. Supreme Master Ching Hai often spoke of the teachings of past masters and answered the spiritual questions of fellow initiates during international gatherings or through tele- and video conferences. On October 3, 2010, Supreme Master Ching Hai lovingly and graciously answered the questions of Supreme Master Television staff about the sun and other secrets of the universe. We now invite you to listen to Part 7 of the 12-part series entitled Revelations on the Magnanimous Sun and the Universe, a video conference with Supreme Master Ching Hai and Supreme Master Television staff in Los Angeles, California, USA. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit www.godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Master, in one of your recent teleconferences with us, you affirm the existence of parallel universes. Could you explain more about them and how they work? They are a parallel universe so that we can choose our action and choose the outcome. Okay. If we choose this, then it's a different outcome, a different future for you. And if you choose that, then it's a different future for you. That is so-called parallel universe. Understand me? Every yes. time you choose a good thing, you enter into a parallel universe, which is better for you. Anytime we choose the less good things, then we enter into a worse parallel universe, which is not too good for us. All right? Thank you, Master. Uh, Master, uh, my last question. Have the moon beams and the earth beams ever been in contact with each other? Yeah, every full moon or so. <laughs> you can see. Right, right. <laughs> they always see each other all the time. No, you mean the spiritually, huh? Yes. You mean the beings, uh, not just the physical appearance. Okay, I understand. Just pulling your legs. Now, they do visit each other sometimes. Okay, Master. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Master. Welcome. Hope you're happy with my answer. Yes, you I'm curious. Always. Chocolate piece <laughs> of lovely things, lovely beings. <laughs> you get sweeter every day. You get darker in the California sun, so it's more and more like dark chocolate, huh? With the sugar or other fruity flavor sugar. <laughs> well, with all the revelations on the sun, I think I'll definitely get out there more. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> you look sweeter anyway, baby. You look Thank sweeter you, than before. Thanks to your grace, Master. More well, mellow. Thanks to your grace. Okay. Hi, Master. Hi. Um, my question is, are there more Earth-like planets in our galaxy that are currently inhabited with humans? Lots and lots and lots and tons and tons of them, honey. Wow. So don't be too proud that you're the only human beings on the only planet, all right? Yes, Master. The people are so beautiful like you are tons and tons in the whole universe. Wow. <laughs> Earth like us are tons and tons, okay? Thank you, Master. Um, yes, all right. How many are there and can Master tell us a little bit more about them? How many? My God, please, uh, don't... Always ask about a number. Yes. <laughs> they are similar to our civilization. Yes, some are more benevolent and more developed uh, spiritually and technically. Some are less. Okay. Yes, master. Some are more developed spiritually than us. Some are less spiritually developed than us, but more technologically advanced. You know, and some are balanced. Yes. Uh, I can't count, sorry. I, I have to go back to kindergarten. <laughs> okay. I can't count, sorry. There's okay. so much, my God. 
Yes, recently astronomers discovered a relatively nearby Earth-like planet called Gliese 581g, and they say it's probably the most Earth-like planet yet and most likely to be inhabited because it's orbiting right in the middle of the habitable zone where liquid water could exist on the planet's surface. And the scientists are also amazed at how quickly they were able to detect this planet and how it's relatively nearby our our own planet, which led them to believe that there must be many, many planets like this and it must be really common. And the Tell you. Yes. <laughs> and the Professor Steve Vogt of the team said, personally, given the ubiquity and propensity of life to flourish wherever it can, I would say my own personal feeling is that the chances of life on this planet are 100%. I have almost no doubt about it. Uh, I just wanted to confirm, Master, is there life on this planet? And if so, beings live there. Are they like us and able to contact them in the near future? Hmm. Long, long, long. Tech, yes. Technology, then we can go there. Huh? Okay. Thank yeah. you, Master. Yeah, you're welcome. They look like us, huh? Many of the planets they look like us, like the people. Okay? Yeah. Hello, Master. Italian. Hello, Italian. Hello, <laughs> Master. How are you? I'm okay. okay. Okay, the question, Master. How is our Earth ranked on a scale of spiritual evolution compared to other planets? What makes a planet more evolved than ours? Okay, we are ranked as high low. <laughs> high low means we are on the low, but the high, not the lowest of the low.